Number 16, verse 26. He warned the assembly, move back from the tents of these wicked men. Do not touch anything belonging to them or you will be swept away because of all their sins. Hello, everyone. Thank you for pressing play. Today, I want to talk about staying away from narcissistic people, not participating in any of their um, foolishness, not turning a blind eye, not being silent. I believe when we do these things, when we even entertain them at the slightest, we take the risk of being swept away with them or in place of them. This is what happens to people who are enablers, right? Or people who just say, I don't want to get involved. When you did see the truth and you refuse to speak up, um, you are participating at that point and at that moment when you don't stand up for people who are being hurt. I hope this message encourages you to go ahead and use your voice. I shared in the video before about cowards. People who are cowards are narcissistic people, more than likely, unwilling to stand up to the truth, unwilling to be themselves. Don't be that person, okay? Don't participate in that because sometimes what's coming for them, you get it. This is what happens to enablers often. And this scripture here is a warning. It's warning us to move back, move away from them. Don't participate with them. Don't hang out with them. You know, don't cover up for them. Don't turn a blind, turn a blind eye for them. Because if you do, you're going to get the payment. Think about Lot's wife. Lot's wife was told, Lot and his wife were told to leave Sodom. God told them to leave. An angel came and said, you guys got to go because God's going to basically burn the place down. But what happened to her? She turned back and looked. The Bible says, don't move back from the tent. Move away, which is what the angel told them to do. Go away. But she went back. She looked back. And it says she turned into a pillar of salt. Now, my assumption is... I am no theologian and I have not studied this, okay? But my assumption is, is that she burned up with them. She got swept away. The place was on fire. She turned into ash. So she was burned up because she did not take heed to the warning. My goal here on this channel is to sound the alarm. Sound the alarm. That's all I've been trying to do for the past several years. I started with telling my story, the things that happened to me that may have seemed so bizarre to other people. I've been ridic ridiculed, um, threats hurled at me, people parked in front of my home. It, it, it doesn't, none of that stuff bothers me anymore. I, I do not operate in fear uh, of cowards. I also do not participate in their foolishness. Because if I do, someone looking from afar can't determine who the fool is. And so we're all guilty, right? This is what enablers do. <clears throat> enablers enablers part participate with the foolishness. They cover up. They lie. I mean, they make some elaborate lies for narcissistic people. And they're, again, I've shared this before. They're like the dogs. They're like trained dogs. And this is what can happen to you if you move into a place where you, you become buddy-buddy or you try to give them the benefit of the doubt. The Bible's saying don't do that. You don't give them the benefit of the doubt. You know what a scoffer looks like and you move away from the scoffer or away from the narcissist. And so, But people who enabled their behavior are the people who moved towards the tents. OK, of the wicked people, they touch the belongings. They want to be a part of them. They want to do what they're doing. 
It's enticing. They're seeking the attention of the narcissist. And so the narcissist is going to use them, use them as a human shield to shield them from accountability. You don't want to be that person. And so if you are someone who is um, on the fence about whether or not to say something to expose what happened, I want to encourage you to go ahead and do it. You don't want to get to judgment day. And I'm just going to be real with you. And God says, well, you knew that this person sexually abused this child and you didn't say anything because you didn't want to get involved. you're You're going to be held accountable for that. And what happens is that you're not the one who sexually abused them physically, are you? No. But because you decided to hide that truth, then you got swept away. You get swept away with their sins. Their sins become your sins because you are unwilling to do what Ephesians 5.11 asks you to do. And that is to expose the darkness. I'm going to talk about this until I'm blue in the face and encourage people and thank those of you who are speaking out. If you know someone who has physically abused someone else, who has sexually abused someone, you need to say something about it. It's time to start covering up. The blood that they have on their hands will be blood that is also on your hands. Some of you may have known that someone has killed someone and you have said nothing about it because you're afraid of what would happen to you. But now you're responsible for the hurt, the pain and suffering of other people. You're getting swept away in the sins of someone you're refusing to expose for whatever reason. This is not good. It's not good at all. And again, God is telling us that it's not okay and that we will pay for that. He showed us the example already in scripture. So anyway, this video is really short. But I did want to to talk about moving away from the enabling behavior. Stop trying to get the attention of bad people. If you notice that you have a type of person that you're constantly drawn to, take a look at that person from a distance. I had to do that. Um, The same kind of guys with the same kind of crappy behavior, you know, not so much on the, the, the surface. On the surface, everyone thought they were great. But once I stood back and looked, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a type. This is a type of principality, a spirit that continues, um, that I continue to be faced with. So now that I'm aware of it, I can make different choices and I choose differently. We, we, you don't lead, allow your emotions to lead you. Don't allow your selfish desires to lead you. Because if you do, they're going to lead you into the tents of the wicked and you're going to be swept away. So let's take time to get to know ourselves. Let's take time to heal. Um, If you see someone who is enabling, move away from that person as well. They are unsafe. Okay, they are drawn to the wickedness. You need to move away from uh, enablers. They will throw you under the bus and themselves. Okay. To protect the wicked person. They will be swept away. You will be swept away with them. Move away from people who are narcissistic. They are dangerous and they will take you out. They are fighting with the real enemy on behalf of a real enemy. And God has asked you to stand firm in faith. You have to resist the devil if you want him to flee. So when you see him for who he is or her for who she is, resist it. And they will flee. Stand firm in faith. What does that look like? I mean, it's easy for me to say the words, but what does that look like to stand firm in faith? Okay, that means that when I know someone is lying to me, I'm going to say, well, But that's not what you said earlier, or that's not the truth. Let's talk about the truth. I'm going to always come to them in truth, truth and love. Okay. 
love. Truth and love are bright, bright light against the darkness. And as I stand and I quote God's word and I hold people accountable and say, well, no, you did this and this is unacceptable. Or I call the police. Some of you need to make those phone calls and say, hey, I've got information about so and so. They've done this to my child or someone else's child. Okay. You've got to be willing to expose. Move away. Move away from the tent of the wicked or the tents of the wicked. I hope this message encouraged you guys. God bless you. Take care of yourselves. Please post uh, your thoughts below. I love comments. I love feedback. Let's have a discussion. And I will post another video soon. If you need encouragement, get to know God. Get to know what faith really means. And the only way to do that is to get in God's word. God bless you. Take care of yourselves. I love you guys. Goodbye.